now we are going to learn what is that so now we're going to cover what is statistics statistics is a very interesting topic in the overall six sigma journey it is very very essential part of six sigma journey and this statistics would help us to make certain decisions to understand reasons uh, to know why this problem has occurred so in the green belt program we are going to cover basic statistics let's understand what is statistics statistics is the science of data which means it is collecting organizing and interpretation of numerical data and the purpose of doing is to understand why this problem has occurred and it help us to make certain decisions okay so when you when we have a lot of data being placed at one point in time the data is stored in such a way that we cannot make anything out of it but with the help of stat we can if we if we collect organized data in a in a proper way and we are able to interpret we'll be able to answer a lot of questions we can understand why the problem has occurred what are the different trends that we get and and it also help us to make certain decisions which we are going to cover in the next sessions okay now we are going to talk about uh the central tendency what is central tendency in basic statistics the tightness of data around the central point how tightly data cluster around center okay which means how the data points are far from the central point that is what central tendency is all about there are three most common measure of central tendency that we are going to talk about okay first is mean second is median and third is mode so let's cover it one by one what is mean mean is the arithmetic average of a set of a data mean is equal to total value divided by number of values okay it is very simple it's a simple average math that we can do you can see there are certain values here please calculate mean for the given set of data so i have this data with me so i'll just copy go to excel okay so i have the values here so i can just sort it in a way that i would be able to understand it so it's 92 82 apologies uh, second time 99 one one nine thirty six ninety three forty one forty one 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 seven ninety seven and 174 okay so we want to calculate the mean for this given data so it's very simple we use an excel formula which is average okay we select the entire data range to the top we close the bracket and we hit enter so we get the value here which is 85.2 91 so this is the mean for this given data so it's very very simple okay so let's go back to what we discussed so we have another example also and i would request uh, you to use this example to understand how to calculate mean okay so it's very simple it's it's total value divided by number of values we have to sum it and then divide it by the number of value however in excel we have a simple formula which is just average and we would be able to calculate the mean the second thing which we have in central tendency is called median median give us the positional value when arrange the data in a descending or an ascending order okay median is something which can be calculated on excel and this is something which which can be calculated manually also Okay, so let's let's do a, a demonstration and then we will be able to understand it better. So I'm just copying these values, okay, and I'm pasting it here. So I'll just take the numbers here, okay. So there is a there is a condition that it has to be arranged in an order, either ascending or descending order. So the first value we can so we are going to do it in a descending order, 
okay so the highest value is 187 then we have 181 then we have 151 149 then we have 139 i'm just doing it uh, in front of you so that you can also understand uh, after 139 we have 97 twice i'm just mentioning 97 twice then we have 72 then we have 33 sorry 72 sorry then we have uh, 47 okay then we have 33 and then we have 28 okay so i need to calculate the median over this one it's very very simple let's see how many values do we have okay so we have 10 values okay so in that case what what how do we do if you want to do it on excel it's very very simple i can use a simple median formula okay I select the entire range. I close it. So the value here we got is 160, 118, sorry. So that's median. Okay. And uh, this is something which is very, very simple because we have calculated the median here. However, we want to do it manually. So since we say it's a middle value, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 9, 8, 7. So these two are the, sorry, these two are the middle values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So if you want to do it manually, what you will do is you will take this, you will sum up this, and you will take the mean out of it. So it's the same. Okay. So it's very simple. Take the two middle values and do the mean out of it. You'll be able to calculate mean. However, if they're odd values, then you just have to select the middle one. Then you don't have to take the average because in that case, if it's 11 values, let's say if there are 11 values here, let's say it's 10, then in that case, it's 11 value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 97 is a, is a median. I can just do it with the Excel also once again. It should come to 97. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's 97. So 97 is the median for this value set. Okay, let's go back. The third thing which you're going to talk about is mode. Mode is something which is most frequent observed value in a given data set. Okay, mode is something which is used which is not used mostly in the service or a manufacturing industry, not in the service industry, but it is used in the manufacturing or, a, or an industry where there's a lot of uh, goods are being produced. Okay, so mode is the most frequent observed value. So in this given data set, okay, um, if you want to see what which value is the most frequent one here, okay, it's eight here. You can see eight, one, two. Three, four, five. So, in this case of the scenario, I would consider mode as my measure of central tendency. Okay. And there's a second example, and I would request you to do it on your own so that you understand how to calculate mode. Now, we're going to talk about what is measure of spread. What is spread? As we discussed earlier, the spread is the amount to which the observation in a sample or a population vary about their mean. Is known as dispersion of spread. How far the data values are from there? What are the main measures of dispersion or main measures of spread? Range, standard deviation, and quartile. What is range? Range is defined as a difference between maximum and minimum value. It tells us about the total spread of the observation. The range is based on only two extreme observations: the minimum value and the maximum value. It gives no weight to the central value of the data. It does not give good picture of the overall spread of the observation. Okay, which means range only focusing on the first and the last part of 